Dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing to, since 2010. Today we are talking again about the arterial hypertension and about the drugs effective to control your blood pressure. The topic today is beta blockers. All the drugs that finish, that are ending with LOL. Metaprolol, Atenolol, Nebivolol, etc. Please see your drug information if you're drinking, taking some medicines against blood pressure. And uh, if the uh, active substance is uh, ending with LOL, that is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, beta blockers are working on our main pump, it's a heart. They will decrease the strength of contraction and the pulse rate, meaning, uh, or the rate of contraction, meaning that will decrease the blood pressure. They can be of particular benefit in patients with heart failure and with coronary artery disease, the, and uh, especially after myocardial infarction, because they will slow the rate of contractions, the strength of contraction, and this will lead to less needs of uh, oxygen, and uh, the heart won't suffer so much because of the blood supply, low blood supply to, to itself. Slowing of pulse rate may be uh, useful if we are treating some of heart arrhythmias uh, which have a very high uh, heart rate. They can be selective or non-selective. Selective meaning they are working mostly only on heart. Not only, but mostly. These are atenolol, metoprolol, esmolol. And not selective are propranolol, sotolol, abetolol. Not selective, they will work also on blood vessels and also on airways. Meaning that they will decrease the diameter of airways. And if the patient has asthma, for example, or obstructive pulmonary disease, uh, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, it may be a real problem. For these patients, better not to prescribe at least non-selective beta blockers. Also, if the patient has real problems with uh, peripheral blood vessels, like uh, atherosclerosis, um, like claudication, when the patient is walking and has real pain in his uh, legs because of low blood flow, better not to use beta blockers. And because they can work on blood vessels, they may cause cold extremities, for example, or erectile dysfunction. Also, other side effects are fatigue or bright dreams. In some cases, they can cause the decompensation of heart failure because they will relax the heart too much if the heart is already working, working very poorly. And they can cause hypoglycemia, meaning low blood sugar. If the patient has diabetes, he's taking insulin or other glucose-lowering agents. Sometimes, for example, they missed the meal, they took too high dose, and their blood glucose will fall too much. And their body don't want to get into coma because of low glucose. It will um, activate the compensation mechanisms that will produce more glucose and get more glucose from deposits. But beta blockers will disturb these mechanisms, meaning that in such cases they may be quite dangerous. By the, way, by the way, metformin is considered to be quite safe because it doesn't, is not prone to mm, dropping blood glucose. The other problem may be AV blockage. AV node is in the heart through which the electricity goes in the heart um, to provide the rhythmic contraction. Uh, there are some, some people may have problems with this AV node and um, the beta blockers will decrease the ability of EV nodes to conduct the electric signal, meaning it can cause total AV block with arrhythmias or even cardiac arrest. And it can be special dangerous if you use also calcium channel blockers. That's why it's important to do EKG before taking these medications. And the last one is uh, the ability of beta blockers to reduce the circulation of blood and liver, meaning the liver is what it, what it is. It is the main detoxification laboratory of our body. If it's uh, there, the blood flow reduces, it will detoxify less medications, and some medications may get to the toxic levels. For example, lidocaine. That's why always check for interactions of medications before taking anything. Dear friends, hope it was interesting for you and I'm waiting for you in the next lectures. 
God bless you. Bye-bye.